Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a comp, cleaner, or closer script, which in just a few simple lines of code will help us clean up when we have too many compositions open. Often when you're working in After Effects and you have tons and tons of compositions open, it can become very difficult to start to navigate them. So what this script is going to do is run through and close all of the active compositions that would normally be open down here and the ones that are basically going to make it a lot harder to navigate. And then we can start with a clean slate and then uh, open up whatever compositions we want. Before we get started with this super quick tutorial, I just want to remind you down below, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can download this super simple code in the GitHub link and also there follow us on Instagram to get live updates. And of course, make sure to join us on the Discord server where we have plenty of support for scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, get your questions answered, help the community out and just have good discussions and also if you'd like to help support the channel get cool perks like badges uh, discord shout outs and getting code and stuff in advance you can become a member supporter premium supporter or a vip member and help out the channel so let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial i'm going to load up my project here that uh, i first basically use the script with where i have a ton of open compositions and we're going to start by creating a new javascript extended file and remember this script is only three lines of code so it's going to be very simple and very effective so this whole script works because of a do while loop this means that we're going to call the word do and we're going to do something and the do is basically its own little function so between brackets we're going to do something if you wanted to you could just say alerts hello and we're going to do whatever is inside of here while with parentheses and we'll close that out as well and we need to put some kind of conditional in here if you wanted to you could say set up a variable called i and set that equal to zero and then each time through you could increment i by one and you could do do this while maybe i is less than 10 so it should alert like 10 times you get one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10. And then once it reaches 10, this while is no longer true, so it will no longer run the do. But we can get even more efficient than that, and all we're going to do is have one line of code that is our do, and this is going to be the actual action of going to this menu here and clicking close panel. We want to do that for all of the open compositions inside of After Effects. And we're going to do this via a menu command. If you're not familiar with these, you can check them out in this video here attached and uh, come back and check this out. So we're going to find the menu command first because different versions of After Effects have different command IDs. So we're going to say app.findMenu command ID. And once we type in the menu command, it's going to give us whatever the number of that command is. In our case, the command is not called close panel. It's actually going to be called close. I did some testing previously, and when I use the close uh, command, that actually does the same process as right-clicking this and choosing close panel. So this is going to return us with the number uh, that we can activate to basically close whatever is open. So to, in order to run that command number, we're going to say app.execute command. And then we're going to wrap that in our menu command ID, which will give us the number and execute a close. So if I was to set up that variable I again to zero, it would actually do this 10 times for us and then stop. But what we want to do is do it for as many uh, compositions as there are. So, but for our case, we're actually not going to be using something like a numerical check for I is less than something. We're going to do this for as long as there is an active item that is a composition. In order to do this, we're going to grab our app.project.activeitem and we're going to first make sure that that is not null. And we're also going to say, and our app.project.activeitem, we have an active item that is not null and we also have an active item that is an instance of a comp item. Then we know that there's an active comp open. So as long as there is an active item that is a composition or an active comp, which is also another way of saying there is something open down here and open inside of our After Effects viewer. While that is true, we're going to close whatever is open. So as long as there is an item here and we have it selected, notice how when we close one, it goes on to the next one and selects it. So 
we're going to close these as long as there's something that it can close essentially. So now if we go ahead and run our script, it should run through and close each of the panels for us. And as we watch it, it might lag a little bit depending on how many you have. And now that it's cleaned up, we can now just open up a few of the compositions we need and organize things much easier. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe and the bell icon down below to get notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can download the code for this in the GitHub link and follow us on Instagram to be notified of live updates. And of course, make sure you join the Discord, get lots of help, and join the community. And of course, you can donate to the channel, become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, and get cool perks as well as support us. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.